matters of love and all these things. You want the other person to be nice. We are such idiots. We want the other person to be nice. And if the other person is not nice, we feel there is no love. Hmm? We have no capacity to see where the whole thing is coming from. We do not see anything. We do not understand anything. And by anything, I mean absolutely anything. Black is white and white is black. We are prepared to give up our life. Probably somebody comes and says two sweet words to us. Oh, he's my friend. Why? Because he talks sweetly. And we do not realize that this sweet talk may be so poisonous because we see only the actions, the words. He comes and hugs me and then he says, Baba, how are you? Nice? And because I live only at the surface, I'm, I'm all right with that. I won't want to offend him. And if he asks me something, I'll give. But there is another one who admonishes, who chastises, who calls a spade a spade, who is terribly real. A poster. Who is terribly real. And I'll say, this fellow is my enemy because he tells me that I'm an idiot. This fellow is my enemy because he tells me that I'm an idiot. You have cancer. The doctor is telling you, you have cancer. Is he your friend or enemy? Friend. But look at our stupidity. We want the doctor to tell us that everything is so nice about me. <laughs> you are rotting. You are stinking, but you want the doctor to certify that everything is good. And the doctor is saying, please change your lifestyle. Look at your mind. Take this prescription. Stop consuming what you do. Your diet needs modification. What you read, what you hear, what you think, that is your disease. This doctor is telling me that I am diseased. Wicked man. Lodge an FIR. Get him arrested. You offended me. He offended me. That is what when you live in the world of perceptions. In the sensual world, where you can only limit yourself to you know, what you are seeing and what you are hearing. And you have no capacity to go beyond that. Hmm? And then you say, you know, see, it doesn't stop anywhere. Man and wife traveling in a swanky car and you say, Wow, they are living a blessed life. Do you really know what's going on in their minds? But then, I mean, oh, wow, nice couple. And why is the couple nice? Because both of them look pretty. And there is a picture in which they are standing together, almost cuddling each other. And what do you say? Nice couple. God bless you. Have you not seen that? You put up a pic and people will say made for each other. How do you know? On the basis of this pic. 
made for each other <laughs> because both of them are wearing smiles so made for each other yeah an ordinary looking man a very ordinary looking man is is walking with a very glamorous woman and what do the onlookers say hey, lucky chap you really think he is lucky <laughs> really think so but then that's it big prize langur ke haath angur what do you know what do you know and we have role models we want to become like somebody sir he lives in a building in a, in a house which is 35 story sir he has a private helipad in his house do you really know his life do you really know what he goes through don't you read all these news articles some high flying executive with all the money that a man can aspire for commits suicide and that is happening daily similarly the recent case of sachi tharur wife sunanta <clears throat> she commits suicide and why must a man commit suicide i am not saying that only the rich commit suicide but then when you look at his life superficially from the outside and just the actions he would appear the most confident man in the world all the benediction is showering on him and you will feel wow this is the life to live wish i were in his place 